Hey guys, welcome to another episode about ESP programming. In front of you, you can see a simple setup with a ESP8266 microcontroller, definitely my favorite one, uh, with uh, one uh, LED diode connected uh, through this uh, 220 ohms resistor uh, to a D5 uh, pin on my microcontroller, and another side of this diode is connected to the ground. So what I want to do in this episode, I want to write a client side uh, software for uh, this uh, microcontroller that is going to connect to a server side uh, software on my uh, PC uh, from where it's going to uh, receive command to turn on this LED diode. So the next part of this tutorial is going to be coding and then we are going to test entire system. Okay, first, what you can see in front of you. On the right side, we have a code from our previous episode, where we dealt with connection to our local Wi-Fi, with only one difference. In previous episode, we used the ESP32 microcontroller, and for that we included Wi-Fi.h library. But now we are going to use ESP8266, and for it we are going to uh, include ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h. And then you have to provide uh, your SSID and uh, password in uh, form of string. And in our uh, void setup, first uh, we are going to uh, do serial begin uh, with baud rate of uh, 9600. Then we are going to print connecting. We are going to set Wi-Fi uh, mode to Wi-Fi STA. And uh, with this uh, while loop, we are going to print uh, underscore and we are going to delay execution for uh, one a second if we are not connected. And then when our connection is established, we are going to jump out from this loop. And in void loop, we are just uh, printing text connect to host name, then empty space and port name. And of course, we are delaying execution for two seconds. On left side, I have opened my VS code and main.py document. So I'm going to write my server in Python, but you could use any programming language you like. And first we are going to deal with the side of our microcontroller. So get to the beginning and I'm going to create one integer light set it to d5 because uh, d5 is our pin on microcontroller for that we are going to set pin mode to output digital write for light is going to be low. So default state for our diet is going to be off. And in here I'm going to create few more variables. First is going to be constant char pointer. Let's call it host. And I'm going to set value to it of my local IP address. So this is in my case, uh, computer on your local uh, Wi-Fi is going to have different address probably. And now port constant unsigned integer, call it port and I'm going to set some random value, let's say 47828. Okay, this is going to do just well. And I'm going to add one more bool value. It's on. That is going to follow state of our diet. And of course, for default, it's going to be set to false. And now we can deal with our void loop. I'm going to make some space in here. Okay, this is probably going to be just fine. And at the beginning of our void loop, I'm going to check. So if we already received instruction from the server, we are not going to repeat this code. We are just going to make delay of two seconds. And we are going to return like this. Now we could just jump over this piece of printing code and now we are going to connect to our PC. So first thing that we need in here it's Wi-Fi client, call it client 
and now let's establish connection so if not client connect and provide to this function host and port so this if loop is going to execute only if we cannot connect to our PC open curly brackets here we are going to print connection failed delay of five seconds and return okay this piece of code is fine and now we are going to deal with code what is going to happen when we actually establish connection so first i want to send some message to my server with command client print ln and i'm just going to say this is esp8266 microcontroller dot and now when our server receives this message uh, it's going to uh, respond let's deal with that code if client is available or client connected all right make some space first we are going to define one byte let's call it ch is going to hold only one byte and we are going to uh, read that uh, byte client read bytes to ch and we are going to read only one byte so as you see our server is going to respond with only one byte and now i'm just going to check if ch0 that actual byte it's five you could use any number you like we are actually going to turn on our diet digital right light high and we are going to print message to the screen print line done and we are just going to set it is on to true and let's see we have delay of two seconds at the end that's totally fine let me check well i guess that this is quite well now we are going to upload this piece of code to our microcontroller let me let me see what we have in here yeah i set the board to d1 mini pro that's totally fine okay i guess that i could just upload this right now give it some time uh, yeah typo let's try it again we are uploading and it's done so now we are going to deal with server side so first thing we are going to import socket library all right now i'm going to create socket let's call it s socket socket af init and socket soc stream all right let's create address for my pc local address it's 192.168.0.25 
and we set port number to be 47828. So this is fine. Now we are going to bind that address 12 socket with S bind. address I'm just going to print something to the screen listening and now we are going to listen for incoming connection 5 and then when connection is established we are going to create object connection and object address with S accept. So with this first part, we have created actual connection. Now we are going to deal with communication. I'm going to create variable received and we are going to uh, store message from our microcontroller in it with command connection receive and we are going to uh, hold up to 1024 bytes. This is more than enough for this message. And I'm just going to decode this. And let me print details from our microcontroller. I'm going to format it with message. Received new line, then from column and address so this line is going to print message and then co this content uh, we just received from our microcontroller and then address of our microcontroller from our local wi-fi and now i'm going to create a response let's call it like this mass and it's only one byte x O five. It's same like in here, and I'm just going to send this message right now with connection send and provide name of our variable, and then I'm just going to close this connection. Save this, and now let's test our code. So guys, now you can see both my screen and my little setup with uh, ESP8266 microcontroller. And I just realized that I made a mistake with this address. Instead of uh, 24, I uh, wrote uh, 25. Now I've corrected this mistake. Uh, so first thing that I'm going to do now, I'm going to open my serial monitor and I'm going to clear output. Let's see our message connection failed. That is because our server side it's not running. And now I'm just going to execute our server. Let's see what is going to happen. Listening. All right. So on the right side, we got done. Our uh, diode is turned on. And in here we have message. This is a ESP8266 microcontroller from address uh, 192.168.0.16 from port uh, 52.074. So guys, this is all for this uh, simple example. I hope that you uh, like this content. So please like, subscribe and see ya.